The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Short Sale Listing Getting Webinar. How are you? You don't need to answer that question because I can't hear you back, but you could, you could just smile and have a sip of your coffee. It's 9 o'clock on the dot on the West Coast, my time. I'm not sure where you guys are at, but we're going to find out right now. Uh, before we get started here, uh, before I share with you some really simple tools, techniques, and systems for, that agents are using to go out and really make getting short sale listings a lot easier, um, I'd like to ask for a little bit of audience participation. I'm going to ask you guys for your help. In fact, I'm just going to ask you to let me know, how's the audio coming through? I'm going to uh, look around on your computer desktops and look for the little arrow icon uh, that allows you to click on it. If you click on it, it opens up a chat box, a little dialog box where you can type in questions and you just push enter and it sends them on over. And uh, what I'd like everybody to do is type in the name of their city. Say, hello from Seattle or hello from Phoenix. Uh, if it, you know, as long as everything's sounding good. If you can't hear me or it sounds all jumbled, you say something to that effect. Say, hey, you sound horrible. Otherwise, let me know where you're at and just, just send in a greeting right now. Um, go ahead and do that now before we get started, you guys, because I just want to make sure that um, we've got good audio before I just start talking for an hour and determine that nobody can hear a darn thing I'm saying. And then the first person that can, can uh, help me out here that finds their little, uh, that little arrow icon, you click on it and uh, type in the name of your city, and you're going to win a brand new free Porsche. So uh, free Porsche to the first person who can find that there, and that's going to go to Michael. All right, Michael, you win the Porsche. What color do you like? Just need to follow up with a little message from you, Mike. Let me know red, black, white, which color you're looking for, and convertible is all we've got in, in, in stock today. So I hope you'll be okay with a convertible one. But thanks, Mike. Let's see where you're at. Mike is in Sacramento. All right. You're at California West Coast time, too. Good, good. Well, there's how many people do we have in the room right now? We've got about 19 people in the room, and, and Michael is so far the only – oh, never mind. Stephanie found hers. Good, Stephanie, you found that. Uh, everybody else, look around again before you guys are going to have questions. It's not rocket science. Look around, find the little arrow, click on it, and just type hello from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and just hit send. Um, and that's going to let me know that you guys are here, you're paying attention. Alan, how are you? Welcome to the room. I see you're in here now. Beverly, how are you? Christy, uh, have you guys found your Edmund? I'm just kind of going through the A, B, C, D, E's. Have you guys found your... Uh, Look like you're logged into the room, but you're not. Uh, you're not with us. So you guys keep poking around on buttons. In fact, yeah. Okay, good, Edmund. You found yours. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks for your help. And then. All right, good. Okay, well, um, for those of you who have been unable to to um, communicate with us. That's okay. I'm just going to assume that you're here and you're paying attention because I see you're I see you're in the room. I see you, uh, I see Christy raising her hand, so she is definitely finding buttons, just not the right ones. Um, <clears throat> there you go, Edmund. Hey, Christy, what you want to look for again? It's, it looks like a little arrow. On it, not a, it's not a hand or a question mark or an exclamation point. It looks like an arrow, and when you click on that little sucker, it'll open up a uh, anyway. You know, you know what it'll do when you find it. Hey, welcome to the room, Michelle. We're just getting started here, so you haven't missed anything. We're just checking the audio system, make sure everything works before we launch this airplane off the ground. Um, Christy, yay! Christy found hers. Uh, Michelle um, and uh, Michelle and Michael, another Michael, welcome to the room. You guys, if you have questions towards the end of the webinar, there's a little arrow icon. You can click on it, and it'll open up a little dialog box, and you can ask your questions away. And I just want to find out who the last person to find theirs is. Christy, where are you at today? You are in, oh, Hastings, all right. Okay, good. I've never had Hastings on the webinar before, so um, that could be a real good thing for you. So let's get started, you guys. Welcome to, first of all, my Facebook page over here at the Short Sale Coaching Club. If you're Facebookers, go ahead and look up the Short Sale Coaching Club and, and come like me over here. I'll, I'll, I'll like you, too, and, and you get some good stuff here. I post some, some stuff here that realtors seem to love according to what they say. So uh, the Short Sale Coaching Club over on Facebook. If you're not a Facebooker yet, because you think, what the heck, these kids, what are they doing on the Facebook all day long? Well, they're doing things that probably they're wasting a lot of time, but you still need to be on Facebook because uh, I'm going to show you how to make some money from Facebook for free uh, at some point in time here. In fact, you guys, YouTube, Facebook, Craigslist, they are all way too powerful and way too free 
for realtors not to be using to go out and get business every day. So um, if we have time today, um, I'd rather talk about YouTube than Facebook, but we'll, we'll cover some of this stuff a little bit. Okay, so we're leaving here, and I'm taking you over to uh, my website over at simplelistingsolutions.com, where on your own time today or tomorrow or next month or next year, you can come back here, and you can look at this stuff that we're going to talk about today, and you can get some real good ideas and, and kind of see what, you know, anyway, take a closer, better look at some things that I may skip over kind of quickly today that would leave you thinking, heck, I wish I had a little more time to look at what Chris was just talking about. But <clears throat> let's, let's just uh, get started here. First things first, if you guys have got a notepad, that's a great idea uh, because I'm going to cover some information today that you're going to want to write down, you're going to want to remember, and you're going to want to hang on to. All right, and we're going to start out with this conversation today. So we're here talking about how to go get short sale listings, make it faster, easier, cheaper, and actually more enjoyable to go be in this business going after business. All right, and so uh, here on my website, you can see there's a funny little headline right here. You can see the funny little headline. It says, you're about to discover a powerful system for turning loan modification minnows into short sale salmon. Well, what the heck is that guy talking about? What, what does that mean? It, it means this. It means 10 out of 10 short sale salmon begin their lives as a loan modification minnow. right? And then if they can go out there and find enough nutrient-rich information to help them grow into a short sale salmon, they will. Right. Uh, some of them won't be able to go find enough nutrient-rich information food to actually grow into a short sale salmon. They'll keep playing this game with their bank trying to get their loan modified, and at some point they'll just get foreclosed on. That's pretty much what's going on out there. I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys. You, some people are getting their loans modified. You might know someone who got their loan modified, but for the most part, calling up Wells Fargo, calling up Bank of America, saying, hey, I'd like you guys to work with me on modifying my loan, is a lot like going down to 7-Eleven and buying a lottery ticket. You might win, you could, you know, but probably you won't. And so what I like to tell people is, listen, you want to get your loan modified, save your home, that's a great idea. That makes perfect sense. I understand why you'd want to do that. Go for it. You should go for it. I can help you. I've got all the forms you need right here. i got everything you need to go try and modify your loan. In fact, I could hook you up with a couple of HUD certified housing counselors. They'll help you fill out all these forms, walk you through the process, hold your hand all the way to the bank. I can help you do that. Um, however. Can I just say this? <laughs> if it's important to you guys to avoid foreclosure, you really ought to have a plan B in place because banks, um, anyway, HAMP is a failure, okay, it, for the most part. The federal government had really expected to modify about 7 million loans. By now, they've modified about 750,000. Why? Because banks don't want to. Instead, banks prefer to foreclose and short sale, and those are going on all day long around the county. Uh, not a lot of loan mods happening, um, but you should try because I know you guys want to save your house. So let's 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 go down that road. Let's let's get you started. All right. So um, why am I enabling that? It, it, you see how that sounds, you guys? I don't sound like like my friend Dean Jackson likes to call it like a cat. In fact, Dean says it like this. Dean says your prospects are like mice. Right? They're programmed to do two things: get the cheese and avoid the cat, right? Get the cheese and avoid the cat. Well, what's cheese? Like, what's cheese to a, to a, now we're not even talking salmon anymore, we're talking cats. What's cheese to a loan modification cat, right? Well, cheese to a loan modification cat could be something like this, right? The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure, a comprehensive guide including tools, techniques, and tactics for battling your bank. That could be a real good piece of cheese for, for a homeowner, facing foreclosure who wants to try and save their house, right? Um, a piece of cheese for a short sale salmon? Somebody's already identified themselves, says, boy, honey, it looks like we should probably look into the short sale thing. Maybe we ought to think about short selling our house. They might be interested in the Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales, a comprehensive guide to help you avoid foreclosure using, you know, a real estate short sale. It says, learn how you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. So if I were a door knocker type person, um, you know, I could go to somebody's house with a door hanger. That's a door hanger. I don't think you guys can see the whole thing there, can you? I could go to somebody's house if I was walking around my geographic farm area, and I could knock on doors with a door hanger like this. I could say, hey, you guys, how's it going? My name's Chris. I'm a local real estate consultant. I just wanted to put this in your hand and get it out of your hair. 
and I happen to know they're like an NOD. They're on my list. Well, what is it? Hey, thanks for asking. This is a book that I put together. It may or may not apply to you, but I know you know somebody here in the neighborhood who would love to have it. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure, and it's got tips, tools, and tactics for dealing with their bank. If they want to do a loan modification, real estate short sale, deed in lieu of foreclosure, uh, just do nothing. Let the bank foreclose on them. This book walks them through the process and shows them how to do all those options you know, safely and smartly without getting ripped off for free. So um, that's what this is. Can I ask you to maybe think about who you guys might know in our neighborhood who would also love to avoid a foreclosure using one of these routes and, and, and just pass it along? Oh, well, great, thanks. Right. Now, I'm not going out handing out a refrigerator magnet. Right? That's not, I'm, not, I'm not going to just knock on their door and say, hey, listen, I know that the NOD has been filed, and uh, you guys may not know this, but uh, you know, there's a sale date for your house, and, and I, could help you, I could help you sell your house for free and avoid foreclosure. I'm not going to go do that. Why would I go do that? There's 25 other real estate agents who probably did that this week to their door. Right? That's not, anybody can do that. Hey, you notice your house is going to get foreclosed on. Um, <laughs> I can help you sell it for free. Oh, really? Oh, aren't you unique? Because there's 29,000 other realtors here in San Diego County who apparently they can't. You're the only. You're the one. You're the. You're the. Proof, you're the chosen uh, short sale one, huh? Why? Well, just I happen to specialize in. I'm pretty good at. Oh, you can't go do that. You're the cat. You have to have some cheese. See, the the, the mouse that wants the cheese doesn't want you because you're the cat, right? You're the commission breathing salesperson that stands to make a boatload of money off of their suffering. And anyway, you know, if they're in Southern California or Northern California or Las Vegas or Nevada or most parts of Florida or, you know, a lot of these places around the country, you know, they're already getting a thousand pieces of mail in their mailbox every week. Junk, postcards, letters, door hangers, overnight express packages to the front door, balloons, to, uh, all kinds of message delivery devices being delivered to their house from cats, right? I can help you. I can say, good, good. I bet you can't. I bet, I bet you can. Here's the reality, you guys, and this is nothing nothing personal. I'm a realtor, too. Nothing personal. We're a commodity, right? I'm not kidding you. When I said in San Diego County alone, there's 27,000-plus licensed realtors, 27,000-plus, right? That is like pork bellies. That's like soybeans. You, you, know, you know, what makes you above the crowd? Not a balloon on your card. That doesn't really mean anything, right? Number outstanding in my field. Good for you. Get out of the field, man. There might be snakes out there, right? That's not that's sales hyperbole. In 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 this modern day and age, you guys, marketing is not about sales hyperbole. It's not about promoting you. It's not what it is because people don't care about you, right? Until they know how much you care about them, they don't care about you at all. And so marketing is called lead with a giving hand. Have something that your prospect wants, something of value that they want and or need, and give it to them for free and make it easy to get. They don't, shouldn't have to call your cell phone. They shouldn't have to call your office and, and, and face the fear of being closed by a salesperson. Hi, Century 21 Seacoast. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to get that free piece of cheese. Oh, where do you live? You thinking about buying or selling? Well, I'm not really thinking about any of that stuff. I'm just thinking I'd really like to get that free piece of cheese. Well, what neighborhood do you live? Right, now you're on the phone with a cat. So they don't want to do that either. <clears throat> so anyway, we're looking at a, a you know, a, a door hanger here with a piece of cheese on it. And there's just no agent photograph on it. There's no, you know, Remax balloon on it. There, there's none of that stuff for, for a reason. Here's a postcard. Oh, more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay, get the truth about your options. A new informative ebook has just been released called Fighting Foreclosure, and it's quite possibly the most valuable guide available for home or investment property owners seeking alternatives to foreclosure. For a limited time, you can get this $37 ebook for free. To learn how to avoid foreclosure step by step, just go log on. Don't talk to anybody. Just go get the piece of cheese. Um, how about if I've got an open house? Let me talk to you guys for a minute about this. We'll, we'll have a little sidebar conversation. One, there's a million things you can go do to get listings right now. And then there's some common things that most people are doing. <clears throat> right? The uncommon things aren't, aren't, aren't things that are bad. They're just most people aren't doing them. The common things that people are doing is they're doing mail, direct mail. They're buying, uh, they're getting NOD lists from foreclosureradar.com, or they're getting 30 and 60 day late lists from blackbookdata.com, places like that, and they're mailing to them. What are they mailing? I don't know, postcards from CDPE, letters that they wrote, things that they get from ProStep Marketing, things that they find all over the internet. They, they see these things on the internet with these grand promises of 
3% response rate. Doesn't matter what zip code you mail it into, doesn't matter what the price point is, doesn't matter what time of year it is, you just mail this little magic thing and you're going to get it. Sure you will. Sure you will. Right, so that's what a lot of agents are doing. They're mailing to 30, 60, 90, 120s. Right. Some of them are going out there and knocking on doors, you know, and they're going out to 30, 60, 90, 120 specifically and knocking on their doors and talking to them. Some agents are saying, forget about that. I'm just going to work a geographic farm area with a thousand homes in it. I'm going to go knock on those doors, put my door hangers, and there will be short sales in there. And if there's not, there will be people who know them and they'll refer me. And I'm just going to work a geographic farm area as opposed to a mailing list because I know that one day this short sale market is going to be over. And uh, if I'm just spending all my time and energy chasing a list, what happens when the short sale market's over, right? As opposed to if I spend all my time and energy in a particular community, well, what happens when the short sale market's over is I've still got a community, right, and I'm listing. So just things to weigh, not one better than the other. I'm just telling you what agents are doing right now to go get listings. They're mailing to 30, 60, 90, 120s, things like that. And they're door knocking, things like that. They're going on the Internet, right, and they've got pay-per-click ads on Facebook or you know, they've got uh, pay-per-click ads on Google AdWords to try and drive traffic over to their website and hope that their website converts that traffic into a, a viable prospect who becomes a client, right? They're doing stuff like that. They're working their sphere of influence, talking to people, hey, you know, do you know anybody thinking about buying or selling or upside down on the house? I can help them. Remember me. Don't keep me a secret. Okay, I'll try and remember you and not keep you a secret. You know, they're beating the bushes doing things like that. So, okay, let's talk about some of those things and how to do them smarter cheaper actually for free all right so um right now i'm showing you some some cheese like here's a cheese that a loan modification minnow would want right if somebody wants to battle their bank and they're working on their loan mod oh i'm so glad i knocked on your door you guys this is perfect this is what you need i got the book for you it's called the homeowner's guide to fighting foreclosure and it'll help you guys you're going to be on the phone this week with bank of america i imagine read my book first take about an hour you can sit down with a cup of tea and just enjoy it. And you'll, you'll laugh and then you'll cry and then you'll laugh some more and then you'll get on the phone with Bank of America and you'll have a different attitude about that tomorrow. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, hey, you guys thinking about doing a real estate short sale? I'll tell you what. Interview, interview, interview. There's 27,000 licensed agents here in San Diego County and they all claim to be short sale experts and, and nothing could be further from the truth. Why don't you guys read my book? It'll help you interview. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. Read it. You'll know more than 9 out of 10 realtors that come knocking on your door. I promise you guys that. And you'll be in a much better position to make a decision who would be best for you. Oh, wow. Hey, great. Thanks. You don't sound like a cat. How come you're not jumping on us trying to dig your claws into us? Uh, well, I'm a real estate consultant and an advisor. I help people get from where they are currently in their real estate reality to wherever it is they want to be. And if that's a short sale, perfect. I'd love to help you do that. That's what I specialize in. But if it's a loan mod, I can help you do that too. It's for free. It's no skin off my back. You know, deed and lieu foreclosure, I can help you guys explore those options. You know, are you concerned about whether or not you're going to have a deficiency judgment? I can help you guys understand that, too. And we can learn about recourse loans and non-recourse loans together. I'll explain this stuff to you guys. HAMP, HAFA, if you want to know about it, read my book, right, or, or give me a call. I'd love to come sit down with you. Oh, wow. Thanks, Chris. Right. So those, that, there's some cheese for me. I've got more cheese than that, a lot more cheese than that that I offer my mice. But um, there's two big pieces of cheese. And then how do I let my mice know about the cheese? Again, I've got a bunch of door hangers. I've got postcards. I've got take one flyers that I use in my open houses because I understand that the purpose of a listing is to get another one. Right? That's the purpose of a listing. It's the same. It's the purpose of my flyer box stuck to that sign at the curb out in front of my listing is to get me another listing. Right? The purpose of an open house is to get me another listing. How, how do I do that? At the flyer box, Chris. Oh, well, at the flyer box, I understand that when I take a new listing and I call Champion Sign Company or whoever is going to come put that sign out in the ground out there, guess what? I'm going to put a flyer box on it full of property flyers, and the neighbors are going to come empty it. Every day they'll empty it. The neighbors will. And so when they do, I'm going to have my letter on the reverse side of the property flyer. Right? I'm going to print it right onto the reverse side of the property flyer. And when they take that property flyer, they're going to see this letter that says, here's how you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your letter to pay all the sales costs for free. I'm right, just going to talk about this fabulous book that I wrote. And if they'd like a free copy of it, they can just log on to my website and go get a free copy of it. And maybe it applies to them, maybe it doesn't, but I bet they know somebody they could send it to who would love it. Right? So I'm working the neighbors around my listings to get more inventory from my signpost from my take one box. Right? From my take one box. The take one box is the best way to communicate to all the neighbors around my listing it is short of knocking on their doors. They're going to come to that box. It's like they're all deer, right? And that box out there, it's like a salt lick. 
You know, don't hunters use like salt lick things? They put a salt out there someplace and deer come lick it. You guys know what I'm talking about. That, that little flyer box on your signpost, it's the salt lick for all the neighborhood homeowner deer. You know, they come over there at some point during the morning, the afternoon, the evening, they're driving home, oh, they walk over and they grab it. They always do. Right, so I leverage my flyer box. So, yeah, I've got a direct response letter that actually works, but it's not just a letter. It's the reverse side of my property flyers. And come speaking about letters, you know, listen, you can mail a letter or you can mail a letter, right? Like you can take a letter like this. Let's blow this up a little bit if, if we can. You can take a letter like this, you guys, and you can put it in an envelope and just fold it up and put a, a label on the envelope and send it through the mail, and sure, you'll get one response. Right? Or you can fold it up, put it in an envelope, and put a little post-it note on it that says, losing your marbles with your lender yet? Thought this might help. Right? And you can put a little marble in the envelope and then handwrite the address and get a completely different result. Right? You can put a little army man in that envelope and put a little post-it note on here that says, still soldiering on with your bank, trying to get a loan modified? You might find this book interesting. Right? And put a little plastic army man in that envelope and have a different result. Right. I could take this letter, I could fold it up three times and fold it in half one more time so it's like a square. And then I could go put it in an envelope that's not a standard white envelope. I could go put it in a like a yellow envelope or a blue envelope that a birthday card or a wedding invite might come in. Right? And I could put a little tea bag in there with it, like a little Zen tea from Starbucks, a little post-it that says, have a cup of tea and enjoy this. You know, you might find this interesting. And I could send that out in a little yellow envelope that looks like a, something in there and they, oh wow, what's this? And get a completely different result. Same letter, right? Same letter delivered five different ways, five different results, right? And then it's not just a letter. Let's put it on the reverse side of our property flyers, right? So when the neighbors come and grab those, we can start leveraging our inventory to get more inventory. But let's just not do that. This would be a great handout, right? I mean, if we go do a street fair, farmer's market, things like that, we can hand these out all day, right? Now, that's thinking. Same thing. I, I go to an open house. I've got take-one tools at my open house because the purpose of an open house for me is not for buyers. I don't care if they come. I mean, they're welcome to follow the signs and come. They can come on in, have a lemonade, hot dog, root beer float. You know, in fact, if I've got a free car wash going out in the driveway, they can, they can you know, park their car, get it washed, come on in, have a good time like everybody else. What's going on over there? Oh, there's a little face painting going on over there for the kids. Oh, Right. So like when I do an open house, it's an event, and it's not for buyers. It's for all the neighborhood homeowners, and I invite them, and they come. I, I disguise it as an open house. Oh, it's going to be an open house, but it's a great opportunity if you could come down and pick your next neighbors. Come see what we got going on. We're going to have root beer floats and hot dogs and lemonade. And stop on by on Saturday. And on Saturday morning, you know, since I invited them on Friday, they wake up Saturday morning. They see my signs everywhere. It looks like Barnum, you know, Barnum and Bailey Circus just set up in their neighborhood. Whoa. Oh, it's that agent who came by who's having the big thing down there with the root beer floats and the hot and the face paint. Let's walk down there. I get all the neighbors to come to my open house. They come. Hey, how's it going? They come on in. I got music going. There's energy in there. You know, I, I engage. I stage to engage. They don't walk in and treat me like I've got the swine flu. They walk in. They go, hey, it's you. Yeah, I'm the guy who invited you at your front door yesterday. Come on in. There's music going. Hey, you guys want a root beer float or lemonade in the kitchen? And you've got hot dogs going out back. And there's music. Oh, wow, neat. And they're, yeah, you take a look around, right? And I'm handing out my tools. What's this? Hey, thanks for asking. It's a book I put together. Right? may or may not apply to you. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. You know, I know you know somebody would love to have, oh, wow, thanks, Chris. And they're leaving my open house with a hot dog in their hand, a root beer float, and a flyer looking at my book that I wrote, right? positioning me as an expert, thinking, man, this guy's got it going on. You guys, leveraging your inventory to get more inventory is one of the most powerful free things you can do this year to add thousands of dollars to your bottom line. You don't have any inventory, go borrow some, right? Go borrow some. So two things that we've been talking about so far is that, not, you know, 10 out of 10 short sale salmon begin their lives as loan modification minnows, right? I, I left you holding that vision in your brain. And then I also said that, you know, your prospects, they're like mice. They're not just like fish. They're also like mice. They're programmed to do two things, get the cheese, avoid the cat, and they see you as the cat. So how do you have the cheese and not act, walk, talk, smell, look, sound like a cat, right? Dialogue. It's your dialogue skills. I can tell you I traveled the country for eight years working for a top national trainer. You guys know who he is. I was his right-hand man. In fact, I flew around the country training all of his mastery members on my own for about two years from Canada down to Florida. Before I got my real estate license and sold this guy a couple houses, he became my best real estate client ever. And if you've been around real estate for a while, you know who Joe Stumpf is. You know, Brian Buffini was one of his star students. 
You know, he's the number one dialogue skills coach on the planet for the real estate and mortgage lending industry. And I can tell you guys this, a real estate agent with a real simple tool like a business card, a good business card, and some good dialogue skills can go ahead and knock on doors all day long and make a million dollars a year. And you can go be the most internet savvy guy on the planet and watch a, a good door knocker with good dialogue skills match you or beat you in listing inventory. Watch it. I, I see it happen. I've, I'm watching it happen today across the country. I'm not saying go become a door knocker if you're not. You don't have to. There's all kinds of things you can do. I'm just telling you, that's how simple real estate really, really is at the end of the day. You don't have to have a, a rocket scientist IQ. What you've got to have is some good dialogue skills, some good habits, and some good tools. A good habit would be every weekend I knock on 100 doors and I don't go home until I've talked to 100 different people that I, you know, in my farm. And when I do, I've got real good dialogue skills when they open the door, right? I've got a real warm and pleasing personality. I know exactly what to say, and I give them this little card. You know what they do? They log on, they get my book, they pass it around to people, makes it viral, and they call me up, and I work with all these people, right, just from door knocking and handing out my simple little business card. Hey, folks, how's it going? I just want to put a couple of these in your hand and get out of your hair. Well, what's this? Hey, thanks for asking. It's a book I put together. It may or may not apply to you, but uh, I know you know somebody here in Cardiff by the Sea who would love to have their hands on it. I'll tell you why. If they owe more on their home than it's worth, this little book is going to show them how they can avoid foreclosure 27 different ways, upside down, in the dark, with duct tape wrapped around their face. Can I leave you guys a few of these nasty? And they're laughing a little bit. They're, you know, <laughs> what are they? Now they're reaching out, and I'm sticking two or three in their hand. Going, Can I just ask you guys to think about who you might know, your church or your place of employment or you know, your kid's soccer team here in you know, our town who's facing foreclosure and doesn't want to? Um, you know, this, this stuff is free, and it will help them whether they want to modify their loan, do a deed in lieu foreclosure, real estate short sale, or walk them through the process. Yeah, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay, thanks. Got to go. Bye. Hope it interrupt your dinner. Right. That's what I'm doing. Oh, wow. Look, who is that, honey? This guy, real estate agent. He wrote a book. Check this out. Oh, wow. Savvier than the normal real estate agent. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow. What does that say? Certified short sale expert. Let's look at this guy's book. Right? So, corrugated plastic banana signs. You know, I'm working my geographic farm here. So, there's a lot of things, right? Mice want cheese. They don't want you. And all those little minnows will grow up into a short sale salmon and come swimming to somebody for help. Right? They will. And so if you think about this, right, and I, I, I play word games a lot because when you have a visual illustration in your brain, it's easier for you guys to remember this stuff forever. But I'll tell you this, you know what your real estate brethren are doing right now, all, the, all your peers in your marketplace that are doggedly pursuing short sales, if they are, if they are? <laughs> well, they're, I'll tell you what they're doing. They wake up in the morning and they get their fishing pole, their little salmon fishing pole, and they get salmon bait and they go out into the world fishing for salmon and salmon only right and that's important for you to know because if you want to kick butt you guys want to have 15 20 30 40 listings right generating you buyer leads every week and have a real good solid business you need to leave your house every morning with sure you got your salmon rod with your salmon lures but you got this big net for scooping up loan modification minnows too and when you know how to scoop those loan modification minnows up and turn them into short sale salmon i'm going to show you how to do that right now all right, so I was showing you a bunch of tools, letters, postcards, door hangers, direct mail pieces that you know you could use to drive traffic over to a website, right? To get the cheese, to get the the, the fish food. But let me show you guys something here. This is what I call the stealth website. This is a website that I've made that a prospect can go to and get their loan modified. They can do loan modification right here. Click on this button, do a loan modification. I'll show you guys here in a moment. But the, the power in just that button right there, request a loan modification, is incredible because it allows this agent right here to go out into the world as a real estate professional and tell people, if you owe more on your home than it's worth, you've got options, and I can help you explore all those options for free, safely, smartly, without getting ripped off. In fact, if you guys want to modify your loan, I can help you do that. I've got all the forms, everything you guys will need, and I can connect you with some HUD-certified housing counselors through my site. They'll walk you through the process, and they'll help you deal with your bank. Oh, wow. Thank you, Susan. Wow. Sure, you guys, come on over. And listen, while you're at it, you probably want to pick up a free copy of my book. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. It's going to talk to you about what your bank is thinking when you call them up. It's going to talk to you about what the process you guys are about to go through, and it'll help you understand a little bit better. Wow. Thank you, Susan. That's great. Good luck on that loan mod, you guys. 
Now, what are they going to read in this book? They're going to read about banks. They're going to read a lot about short sales. They're going to read about how, how HAMP is a failure, how the only thing that Fox News and, and MSNBC agree on is that HAMP has failed and that banks aren't modifying. And if you don't believe the book, watch the news article right here. Just watch it. It's right here, this TV screen. We can talk about it. It's just going to confirm what I'm talking about in the book, which is this. Calling up your bank and trying to modify your loan is like going down to 7-Eleven and buying a lottery ticket. I'm not making it up. Banks don't want to modify your loan. Why? They don't make any money. Right? They make money when they foreclose on you and when they short sale on you. Why would, why, in God's name, why would the bank want to refinance your underwater upside down option arm on a house? It's, why would they want to do that? And so I don't, I don't beat them over the head in the book with that, but I do let them know that, listen, you guys, go for it. You want to try and get your loan modified? I'll help you. Right? Let's go down that road. However, as your real estate consultant advisor, <laughs> or uh, maybe not yours yet, but, but one with a heart and one with a head, I need to inform you guys something. If it's important to you at all to avoid foreclosure, you better have a plan B in place while you're working on your loan modification. Okay, And a plan B is probably going to be a real estate short sale, and you need to know about those. Read the book. Right? Go over to HAMP half a page. I've got another book called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. You guys can get that over on the HAMP half a page. Read the book. Right? And you'll know what I'm talking about. And then if you'd like to work with me, I'd love to help you. It doesn't have to be me, though. You guys have, there's 27,000 licensed, apparently, experts here in San Diego County that, that want to help you. So read the book, you guys, and let's go get to work on your loan mod. That is a powerful way to be able to communicate to people. Right? Wow, they want to help us anyway. So here on the home page of the Stealth website, that, by the way, a prospect can convert into any language they want, right? Uh, Bulgarian. Uh, let's see what that looks like, right? They could just come in here if they're Bulgarian, and they can convert it to Bulgarian, and now they can read it in their language, right? But for the purpose of today's webinar, we're going to keep this Stealth website, this listing-getting website that runs circles around CDPE. I'm telling you guys. We're going to keep it in English. <laughs> All right. So look, what does it say here on the home? Here's the thing about a real estate website that, to get you listings. First of all, it's got to have lead captures that actually work. It's got to have good cheese that people will say, hey, I'll trade you my name and email address for that piece of cheese. I'll even call you up and ask for it. Right? You've got to have good cheese that people want. They'll come to you for it. And then you have to give them the cheese and not look, sound, act like a cat. Hey, this is for you guys. It should help you out a lot. How's the loan mod coming along? Can I help you out with that? Right? Wow, they don't sound like a cat at all trying to grill us into a short sale listing. No, no, no. That's, I specialize in those. I, if you guys decide that you're ready to go that route, I'd love to help you do that too. But don't you want to do a loan mod? Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's talk about that. Right. So here's this website here on the home page. Loan mod, short sale, deed in lieu of foreclosure, three free options. This one happens to say for California homeowners. Yeah, I've even localized it right here. It says, if you owe more on your 4S ranch home or investment property that's worth it can no longer afford the payments, you've got options. And this site provides fast and easy access to all sorts of free tools, information, and resources, including HUD certified housing counselors who will assist you in exploring your options for free. Right? Whether you seek to modify your loan in order to keep your home or wish to speak to a short sale advisor about avoiding foreclosure by selling your home for less than is owed, you'll find information here that will help you immensely. Right? That's what's happening when they get over here in any language they want. And they, they're going to watch this news clip. They're going to go, oh, yeah, loan mods. <sighs> Odds are against us. It's kind of like going down to 7-Eleven buying a lottery ticket. Let's get the book, right? And then what's a short sale anyway? Let's read about what's a short sale. Well, why would my lender accept less than is owed, right? Why will I, will I qualify for a short sale? Well, I don't know. You know, it says right here whether you're doing a loan mod or a short sale, though, you're going to need hard, hard comparable sales, you know, figures to substantiate that your property is worth less than is owed. You know, we provide a comprehensive property value report, the kind your lender wants, you know, because they're going to want to know the 30, 60, 90 day sales price for your property. Whether you modify it or do a short sale, whatever you guys are trying to do, you're going to need this. Why don't you just get the free one right now? Right? Why don't you just guys just click there, I'll give you a free one, and just fill out all this report and I'll send it over to you guys. Right? I'll need your email address, of course, in order to send it to you, but send it over, and here we are back on my Facebook page, and, and I'll get it over to you guys. Right, so that's another on on the home page. There's several pieces of cheese. The big one is here. You guys need this book. The second one is whether you're going to modify your loan or short sell your home. You're going to need this. So go ahead and get this. Right. If you'd like to find out whether you qualify for a half a uh, half a short sale and get up to three thousand dollars, go ahead and click here and take the half a quick qualifier. Right. 
and then they can do that too if they choose to. They take the half a quick qualifier quiz, give me their name and email information, and I'll let them know if they're going to qualify for half a short sale. Right. And by the way, when they give me their name and email address, of course that's going to start an automated drip campaign that sends out letters, HTML letters, that don't position me as a cat, but they position me as a short sale guru stand, standing by with a team of experts to help themselves for free and avoid foreclosure. Right? And offering free advice and tips and strategic counsel through my drip emails that they're going to get from me. Right? So the lone mod minnow who doesn't want to do a short sale yet, but does want to know how to deal with their bank is going to come over here and read the book and understand that it's an uphill battle. Good luck, right? If it's important to avoid foreclosure, you can better think about doing a real estate short sale and getting your plan B team in place, right? They're going to get that. All the loan mod minnows will. Then I'll be dripping on them, right? So they'll be not only will they read my book and learn all this great information, but they'll be hearing from me. So as that loan mod minnow goes through their own evolutionary process of morphing into a short sale salmon, like many of them, most of them will, they come swimming home to me when they're ready to do something, right? Hey, Susan, thanks so much for, for helping us out with the loan mod stuff, and your book was awesome. Um, we can see now that you know, the loan mod's not going anywhere. Will you help us short sell a house? Sure, I will. I'd love to, right? You guys better not ignore 80% of your prospects out there. They're not short sell salmon yet. They're still loan mod minnows. And what are you doing out there mailing to 90 days, chasing, banging all these 90 days, these NOD people? I can short sell your house for free. I can help you short sell your house for free. We've already heard that 150 times. We want to hear somebody say, I can help you save your home for free and stay in it. If that's what you guys would like to do, I can help you. Right? Oh, come on in. We'd love to talk to you. Right? I can't tell you guys how many agents go out. They go out, they door knock, and they get business from it. And then they call me up and they say, man, I, I got two listings this weekend. I could have got another one. But these people, they think they're getting their loan modified. And I don't know what to tell them. Now you do. Right? Here's what you tell them. You guys, I'm so glad I knocked on your door. You need a free copy of my book. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. It's got tips, tools, tactics for dealing with your bank. Who you, who's your bank? Wells Fargo, I hope not. Oh, yeah, it's Wells Fargo. Ooh. Well, that's why you guys need the book. Right? So request a modification. How does somebody come over here and request a modification from the website? Well, if they click on the link, they're going to get the HAMP quiz straight from the federal government. You know, find out if they qualify for HAMP loan mods. So they'll go through the process and say, are we going to qualify for a loan modification? Let's see. Right. Let's find out. Is your payment on your first more than, you know, 31% debt to income ratios? Did you get your home before January 1st, 09? Uh, are you having trouble paying your bills? Is the amount you owe on your first mortgage? So they're going to come through here and say, well, let's find out if we're going to even qualify for a, uh, for a HAMP, you know, for, for a loan mod. Let's just go through this process. By clicking Submit, your answers will be analyzed. You'll be directed to the next steps. Okay, Submit. And then what happens? Request a home affordable modification. Hmm, homeowners apply for the home affordable modification by submitting a complete initial package to their mortgage company. The initial package includes these forms right here. Here they are. You can go ahead and download them yourself. In fact, below you can read more about how to complete these documents. And if you need help completing your paperwork, call the Homeowners Hope Hotline to connect with a HUD approved housing counselor, they'll help you for free. It doesn't say call Susan. She doesn't do loan mods. She's a real estate expert who specializes in short sales. It says call the homeowner hope hotline. Right? Although if she's a HUD certified housing counselor, she can put her phone number right here and if she wants them calling her for the for the help, you know, fill out the form, she can do that. Right? So step number one, complete the request form. This defines the request form and what that does. And this is where you put together your distress letter and, and all that good stuff. Step number two, complete the tax form. This is what gives your lender permission to request a copy of your most recent tax return. Step number three, gather your proof of income. Here's a proof of income checklist. Go ahead, package it all up and send it to your mortgage servicer. Here's how to contact your mortgage servicer. And again, if you need help, there's HUD certified housing counselors right here. They'll help you out. Right. So here's a loan modification in a box. Just add water, shake, and stir. You don't need to pay $4,000 to a lawyer to help you modify your loan. Are you guys crazy? You're getting ripped off. They're free. Loan modification is called get your stuff together, bundle it up, package it up, send it over the bank, and call them up. Right? We'll show you how that works. So, well, what about a deed in lieu of foreclosure? Maybe that's an option, okay, because we're a short sale minnow. Right, and we're looking for our options. You know, we don't know about a short sale yet. We're thinking maybe a, a you know, a, a loan modification or a deed in lieu. What's a deed in lieu? Oh, well, why don't you go find out? Generally, if the borrower makes a good faith effort to short sell the property, right, and is ultimately not successful, a servicer may consider a deed in lieu foreclosure. With a deed in lieu, the borrower voluntarily transfers ownership of the property to the servicer, provided the title's free and clear of mortgages, liens, unpaid HOA fees, or other encumbrances. Right? You can get paid up to $3,000 when you short sale through HAFA. So 
Deed and Lou, oh, I guess that's not an option because we haven't tried to short sale the property yet. Okay. Nutrient rich information that's going to help my loan mod minnow grow into a short sale salmon. Right? Help them realize. If I'm standing at their door saying, you guys forget about that loan mod, that's not going to work. You need to short sell your house. You know who I sound like? A big cat. Right? A big commission breathing cat about me. That's all about you. How much money are you going to make when you short sell our house? Right? Our dreams, crush dreams. You, you don't even get into that. What you want to get into is you guys want to do a loan mod? You've been working on it for a while? No, we're just thinking about doing it. I can help you do that smartly and safely for free without getting ripped off. You guys, come on over here. Let's talk. Oh, wow. Now I've got a short sale salmon. They don't know it yet, but they're my prospect now, and I'm helping them, and I'm building a relationship. You guys have to be able to do that. And so having the tools in your arsenal to be able to be that to somebody is, is key in this marketplace, and it will be for the next year, year or two. Right, so deficiency judgment. We're concerned about a deficiency judgment. You ought to be. You ought to be. They can be scary things, right? Can I short sell my home for free with no deficiency judgment? Well, the availability of a deficiency judgment depends on whether you have a recourse or non-recourse loan, which is largely a matter of state law. In some jurisdictions, first mortgages are non-recourse loans, but second and subsequent ones are recourse loans. You know, states that follow the title theory, we explain this. We also explain, if you're considering short selling your home, determining this information up front is critical. We will investigate and determine your loan status and report back to you with our findings within 24 to 72 hours. You want to know if you're going to have a deficiency judgment? Let us know the property address. Right? Let us know the purchase date. At the time of the purchase, did you move in? If not, did you intend to? How much is your property worth right now? Did you get my free home value report? You better go get that. Right? How much did you pay for the property? How many loans did you take out on the property? What's the first loan, second, and third loan amount? What's the name of the lender on the first and the second and the third? Did you refinance the first, the second, or the third? Is the first current, is the second current, is the third current? Have you ever rented out the property? Have you received a notice of default? If so, when? Were any of your loans part of a program such as FHA, Cal HFA, or VA? Yes or no? Go ahead and give me all that information. Submit it. And you know what this is? This is a hot lead coming into my system. This is somebody who wants to know we're thinking about a short sale, but we're concerned about a deficiency judgment. Will you help us, Susan, expert, who wrote the book? Who wrote what book? Well, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. Well, what's inside that book? Well, that talks all about short sales. That lets you know that it walks you through a short sale process from A to Z, from finding the right professional and getting the thing closed, and from you know when you've got your offer together and you're going to package that up and send it over the bank, and they're going to send some BPO agent by your property, and how I'm going to meet them out there with my own comps and my own agent visual to make sure that stuff is closed and it goes into the report. And let me explain to you why I do that. Let me explain to you how when we have nine or 15 offers come in on your property, I'll be able to sort through those and determine which one is the best one to take to the bank and why. I'll show you how in my book. Well, I'll show you how you, there's no sign in the yard that says loser, short sale. There's nothing like that in a short sale. It's just like a standard listing. The only difference is we've got to disclose to anybody who writes an offer that it's contingent upon you know the lender approving this thing. That's it. And so my book will tell you all about real estate short sales, how the banks work, how buyers work, how the agents work, how they all work. Right? I wrote it. I'm an expert. Read my book. In fact, if you guys are thinking about doing a short sale, I alluded to this earlier, go interview. Read the book, and it's going to help you interview. And you know what happens? People, now I'm just talking to you guys, real estate agents, real estate agents. They read the book, and they say, well, why do we need to interview? We just read your book. You're great. You help us. Perfect. Right? Did you read my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure? Yep. That's what let us know in the beginning that, buy, that uh, trying to modify our loan is like buying a lotto ticket, and it let us know that we should have a plan B in place while we go forward. And we just figured from the beginning that you would be our plan B, Susan, since you wrote the book and you've been helping us out with the loan mod. Oh, perfect. Good. I'd love to help you guys with that. Right? Deficiency judgment, deed in lieu of foreclosure, right? request a modification qualify for a short sale. If you're in California, Senate Bill 458, this would be interesting to you, right? A new California law will further protect homeowners pursuing short sales by barring first and second lien holders from going after sellers for money owed after the short sales close. Our great governor, Jerry Brown, just signed it. Right? So if you're in California, you probably want to have that on here, Senate Bill 458. Free attorney, CPA review. Here's some more cheese. Here's some more cheese. Why an attorney review? Right? Now, you guys, listen. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Upon short sale approval, your lender will generate a short sale approval letter. The short sale approval letter is, in essence, a contract between you and your lender allowing the short sale of the property. Just as when you originally took out your loan with your lender, the terms and conditions are extremely relevant. The terms and conditions of the short sale approval letter are equally important, if not more so, as they finalize your contractual relationship with your lender. Okay? 
it's for this reason we provide a free consultation with a licensed attorney who specializes in real estate law to give you the highest reassurance that your interest is being well served by moving forward with the short sale, right? Minimum purchase price, attorney review upon short sale acceptance, uh, CPA review. Why do we provide a C now? Are you guys doing this right now? That's that's valuable cheese. Again, Susan standing at somebody's door. Imagine, hey, you guys want to? I can help you with a loan mod for free, safely, smartly, without getting ripped off. You guys want to modify your loan? I can help you do that. In fact, if you'd like to talk to an, an attorney or a CPA here in town, I you know I've got some on my team that you know, I, I can arrange a free consult for you. Help you guys understand how best to move forward. That's powerful cheese. Go get a copy of my book. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. It'll help you guys deal with your bank. Oh, we're over the bank. We're not. We just want a short sale. Perfect. Go get a copy of my book. It's called The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. It'll help you guys. Oh, wow. You're just loaded with cheese, aren't you? Yeah, I sure am. All right. And then a couple other things I just want to talk to you guys about on this stealth website is my blog. Now, I happen to be a blogger. You might not be. If you're not, that's okay. Because do you know that you could have somebody blog for you and create your own custom WordPress blog site for about 30 bucks, take them about 40 minutes, then have a great looking blog for you that they would blog on every single month for you? And why would that be important? Well, if you have a website and you wonder why nobody can go onto Google and find your website without you paying thousands of dollars a month, it's because you don't have a blog linked to your website. All right? a blog that's continually getting updated with new and current information, it's because you don't have a free YouTube video page that you make linked to your site, right? It's things like that. It's because you don't have an invisible meta tag page where you've gone onto Google keywords and searched for all the key search terms and key, you know, words in your marketplace. Charlotte, you know, short sale, Charlotte loan modification, Charlotte, the keywords in your marketplace and pasted them into an invisible meta tag page, you don't have that stuff happening. And I'm going to show you how. So here's a, in, in a moment, maybe, right? So here's a stealth website. I just want to show you guys something, right? Any language, any language. And, and what I haven't shown you is that I can come in here easily and I can add as many pages as I want to it, right? as many pages as I want. I could also come in here, if I could work in a Microsoft Word document, I can just highlight this headline and retype a new one. Change it. Delete it. I could highlight all these words, everything, and just rewrite them. If I, could, I don't need to know HTML. I can just, if I can work in Microsoft Word, I can rewrite every page. I can rename every page. Right? So I have a web, I can change the name of my brokerage in five minutes. If I join Remax this afternoon, I can be Remax this afternoon. I can just change it. Right? change my photo, I can just upload a new one. It's really super simple. I can change my phone number if I want to change it. I can change anything on this website at any moment. If I want to change this video, I can go onto YouTube and find another one and just insert it and change this video. Right? I'm showing you guys a website here built by a real estate agent for a real estate agent who wants to get listings. And I thought, okay, what I would want for a real estate agent to have is the ability to modify their website all day long. Why? Because Markets change. Things change. Mars rules were a big deal three months ago. Now who cares about Mars? You don't need to be Mars compliant. But you know, three months ago, two months ago, you needed to have all kinds of stuff on your website that you don't need to have on it now. Right? And next month you might need to add stuff to it again that you don't need to have it on, on it now. You could have a website that your broker takes one look at it and says, you're not allowed to say that. And then you can say, no problem. I'll go ahead and delete this sentence. What should it say? Well, it needs to say this. Okay, now it does. Oh, okay, good. And then your lawyer looks at it and says, you can't say this. No problem. Well, how, how should it read? It needs to say, okay, problem. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it, right? So here's a website that a prospect can convert into any language. They can come over here and get their loan modified. They can find out if they're facing a deficiency judgment. They can qualify for half a short sale, right? They can, they can do all kinds of things in any language. And you can edit this stuff. Why? Because you need to. You need to localize it. You don't. You you can't be if you're a listing agent and you're in. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember where anybody was in Sacramento, right? So you can't be a listing agent and say, "Oh, I'm the you know three free options for you know you know, if you're upside down on your house." No, look at this. If you owe more on your 4S Ranch home, that's a particular community, right? It's got about 2,000 homes in it that I'm marketing into 4S Ranch, right? I'm speaking right to them. And if I say, I don't want to work for S Ranch anymore, man, I'm going to go work Chula Vista. I'm going to come in here and change this to Chula Vista. And not only that, what if somebody wants to search for a home? 
right? Well, I added a sentence that says, if you're in the market to purchase a San Diego County area short sale or bank owned investment property, click here to search through all local inventory and receive automated updates and, and you know, matching your, click here, what did I do? I just added a hyperlink over to my other website where they can go search for homes. Click on it, now oh, here they are, right? Go search for homes. Go ahead, I just said hyperlink. I have a hyperlink over to my blog if I want to. I could have links all over the place. Sorry, I keep closing the screen here accidentally somehow. But um, anyhow, I wanted to show you guys this stealth website. And what I can do is, is show something here. I'm going to show you some Craigslist ads, and then I'm going to show you an email signature that gets listings, and then I'm going to let you guys go. But first of all, uh, let's look at the Craigslist ads. Okay, so imagine I'm Susan, okay, and I'm, this is my website. Here's what Susan is going to do. Susan is going to go over to simplelistingsolutions.com. She's going to log into her back office. Right, log right into her back office. That's where she's got her lead center and all, all kinds of things going on back here in the back office. When I say lead center, here's what I mean. She's got a lead center. Everybody who opts in and orders a book, orders the home value report, takes the half a quiz, anything like that, they're, they're back here right, being dripped on. She can turn the drips on or off, see how many have dripped on them. And they're all back here in her lead center. But here's what I want to show you is Craigslist ads. You guys, Craigslist is free especially if you know how to work it. So, I mean, it's always free, but it won't get you any business if you don't know how to work it. But let me show you some ads. Like, here's an HTML Craigslist ad that I would run in the rental section. Wow, $3,000 move-in allowance? That would be a compelling headline in rentals. When people click on the headline and they see the ad, it says, half a government guidelines, up to $3,000 move-in allowance when you short sale. Forget foreclosure, short sale for free, avoid credit suicide, and get paid up to $3,000 to move into your new home. Get your free ebook, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales, by simply clicking on the gold seal. So when they click on this, where's it going to take them to? And take them over to the website, to where they can go get the book, right? Straight from Craigslist. So I can scroll down here. I've got them in Spanish. I've got them in different, different messages. Look at this one. Stop foreclosure. Get assistance with your loan modification. HUD certifi certified housing counselors will assist you. Learn the process. Find all the forms you'll need, including step-by-step -step instructions for requesting a loan modification, deed in lieu of foreclosure, or real estate short sale. Right? While supplies last, get a free copy of the Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. Just click on the book. They click on the book. Where's it take them to? It takes them over to the website where they can go get the book. Now, how do you run that ad in Craigslist? Really easy. You just come down here in your back office, grab the code, copy, go paste it into Craigslist, and then the ad appears. Right? There's a bunch of these ads back here. Free loan modifications. HUD certified housing counselors will assist. Have you considered a deed in lieu of foreclosure? Right? These are all ads that Susan could every Thursday evening after dinner hop onto Craigslist and run her Craigslist ads. Every Thursday evening after dinner. Let me just say that one more time. Every Thursday evening after dinner, she's going to post her Craigslist ads. Okay? Not on Tuesday or Monday or Sunday. On Thursday after dinner, she's going to post her Craigslist ads, right? Not before lunch or after breakfast, but after dinner on Thursdays. She's going to run her Craigslist ads in the right sections. Some of them are going to go in uh, services under real estate. Some are going to go in rentals. They're both going to be free. And people are going to go there and they're going to click on her ads and they're going to go over there with the and they're going to end up over here saying, wow, what's all this good stuff? Not only is there this book here, there's another, wow, what's going on over here? So that's all being driven from Craigslist. Right? Now let's go back into the back office here for a moment. So I showed you guys where there's a lead center in Craigslist ads. Let me just show you one more thing here really cool, super quick, and then I'm going to let you go. Um, Customize website content. I'm going to click on this link right here, Susan, and I'm going to say that I want to add a new page to my website called Community Information. And so I'm just going to name it Community Info. And then I'm going to come down here and spell that one more time the way I want it to appear on the page. I'm just going to click Submit. And you know what I just did? I just built a new page on my website. If I come over here and refresh my browser, I've got a new page now. Here it is, Community Info. See how fast that came along, community information? There it is. Now, there's nothing on it if I click on it. Sure, there's nothing there just yet, but I'm going to fix that problem right now. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to some other real estate agent's website who I like their community information, and I'm just going to steal it. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say, oh, wow, let's check out what you guys have got going on. Let's look at your community information. I've always admired your website over the years, and you guys do a lot of business. And yeah, you got real good links down here for community info. I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to copy all your links, and I'm going to go back over to my website at Simple Listing Solutions where I'm logged in, and I'm going to go down to uh, my community information page that I just made. I'm going to click on the link that says Edit, real easy, and then where it says Insert Content here, I'm just going to paste that content I just took, Control-V, Paste, and I'm done. 
I'm just going to come down here and click Submit. And how long did that just take me to build my community information page, you guys? About, what, 15 seconds? Let's go look at my community information page. All these links work. Business services, here we got Google, Legoland, California, LiveNet, San Diego Bay Cam, San Diego Chargers, stuff, dot, dot, dot. I got all the, here it is. I just took it from somebody else. I just copied and pasted it, right? Easy. Short sale FAQs is the same thing, right? Free attorney, I mean, anything I want. I could just, if I want to build a page, I can go find somebody else's page and copy the entire thing. I could go to my traditional real estate website, copy every page over there, bring it over here, turn that one off. Right, <laughs> turn that one off. I don't need that. I can I can do it every over here and just keep the pages I want, get rid of the pages I don't want, and have these killer pages where people can request loans. That's how easy it is, you guys. Again, you don't have to be a computer programmer. I just built my community information page. It took me 15 seconds. I just copied it from somebody else. So that's uh, what this stealth website is. It's a lead gen. Now I don't think that more pages are good, right, or bad. Uh, if they get me listings, they're good. If they don't, I'm neutral. You know, I don't want them. I don't want. I don't. I don't really care. I don't want people to come in here and have access to a bunch of stuff that they don't want and or need. I just want them to come in here and see every single page is something juicy that they could want, right? So um, this is a stealth website, you guys. It's pretty darn cool. Any language, you've got complete editing capability over the entire thing. People can come over here, modify a loan, uh, deed in lieu of find out if they're going to have a deficiency judgment, qualify for a short sale, all this stuff. They can get your free book that positions you as an expert. They can order it here, which starts an automated drip campaign. They get the ebook. They forward it to people they know. Makes it viral. Okay. They go and then the and the news just happens to agree with what's in the book. Right now, you can come over here to the Hamp Halfa page. Your prospect can come over here and learn about Hamp and Halfa, and they can also order your other book that positions you as a short sale guru. And just like you've got complete editing capability of the website, you've got complete editing capability of the books. You can open them up, take stuff out, add stuff to them, do whatever you'd like. Right? And these books are not 10-minute copy, pasted, slapped together on the Internet books. Substantial book, great read. Okay, Light years ahead of, of those folks over at Harris University who came along and saw what we were doing and copied us. Light years ahead. This book, it'll take about an hour to sit down and read it. But I'll tell you what, in fact, to have a got a copy here I can show you guys? Yeah, let's just open up an agent copy here. The legal stuff, Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. Now, this version belongs to, we've got a little something happening here on the page, uh, an agent here in San Diego, Jen Talisay, who's gotten about 30 listings so far through the system. But as I open up, as I scroll through the contents here, you can see about this book, Why You're Listening to Me, The Short Sale Solution, Short Sale Package, Sample Hardship Letters, Sample Authorization to Release Information Forms, Tax Consequences of a Short Sale, Eight critical steps to short sale success. Qualifying for a short sale, finding the right pro, determining your home's value, listing your home for sale, selecting the best offer, submitting your, your short sale package, negotiating with the bank, deficiency judgments. That's what we talk about in the short sale book. right? And we've got this little cartoon here. I, for one, am happy that my house is underwater. But as you scroll through this book that's ghost written for you, it's got your name, your information everywhere in it. It's ghost written for you. right? And it's a big giant Word document, which means you can, you can edit it. Right? If you want to, you can make it bigger, add stuff to it, take stuff out. Let me show you just one little section in this book, all right, so you guys can get an idea of what we're talking about here. Recourse loans, non-recourse loans, short sale package, hardship lenders. We're going to kind of go through all this stuff here, and I'm going to stop here in a moment. Um, in this book, it not only positions you as a excuse me, as a short sale expert, but as a true listing expert. I want people to read the book and say, wow, this person knows short sales inside and out. Not only that, they're a real listing expert. How do I do that? Well, I talk about I talk about the process. I talk about how when 15 different order, offers come through, I'll show you how I'm going to weed through them and determine which one's the best one to take to the bank. I do that in this book. Right? Finding the right real estate expert. Let me be clear. I've intentionally created distinctions throughout this book between what I consider to be typical real estate salespeople and true real estate professionals because it's critical for you to be able to make the right choice the first time. Remember, you'll only get one shot at a successful short sale. So here's the problem. When short sale listings became a significant percentage of the available inventory of homes to be sold, typical real estate salespeople with just enough knowledge to be dangerous instinctively began pitching themselves as short sale experts, which they clearly are not and which is evidenced by the huge inventory of former short sale listings that have been foreclosed on. 
right? Many of today's foreclosed upon homes are former short sale properties that never successfully closed escrow with the banks, even though in many cases they received multiple offers. Offers that went nowhere because the listing agents were typical real estate agents who were inexperienced, unskilled, and unsuccessful in working with the banks or buyers. These agents represent the 90% plus who sell one to four homes a year. So this is what I'm talking about in this book. Right? And the role of a true real estate consultant and advisor is to educate, negotiate, and coordinate. What does that mean? This means to act as your consultant and advisor. They must ask the tough questions and then listen deeply to understand your particular situation so they can you know, provide the best advice. Negotiate. When it comes to making their client money or saving their client's money, they take the task seriously and treat their client's money as if it were their own. Coordinate. They must have the structure, systems, and experience to coordinate the hundreds of transactional details, including phone calls, emails, documents, everything. A mistake anywhere throughout the short sale process can cost you big time. So how do you find this pro? I told you I'd make it easy. Call the toll-free number. Right? This is what's happening in this book. Right? I'm just giving you guys a little flavor of, of the content in here. Listing your home for sale. Right? Let's assume you're now qualified for a short sale and that you found an expert to guide you safely through the process and that he or she has created a solid BPO, determined the 30-day sales price. That is the price you can reasonably expect to obtain for more than one motivated and qualified buyer within 30 days. In this stage, putting your home up for sale as a short sale is no different than listing your home for sale as you would a traditional sale. Right? This is what's happening in this book. It's not it's selecting the best offer. Right? Here we go. Here's four offers on a property. Let's, let's look at them together. Determine, I'll show you why one's better than the other. So that's what's happening. So submitting your package to the bank. Negotiating with your bank. Right? The four critical questions that you better be able to answer. Answer them properly and get your short sale approved in 15 minutes. What's the value? What's the offer? What's the first getting? What's the second getting? It's almost that simple. However, your agent first needs to know how to quickly gain access to and establish a rela relationship with the asset manager. Right. So th this is a real book, you guys. I just wanted you to, to get that we're not, we're not pitching a comic book over here to folks. We're, posi we're pitching a book that you wrote and that really, truly positions you as a short sale guru. You know what's going on. I know how to get your house sold. I can help you. Right. So that's my stealth website. I showed you guys over here at Simple Listing Solutions over at my website a lot of the tools that come with the website right? because it's a comprehensive system that I've built over here. It's a website. It's a toll-free phone number with call capture, all that stuff. It's a toolkit full of postcards, door hangers, direct response letters, corrugated plastic bandit signs, take one flyers, money-making business cards, all that stuff. The e-books, all that. It's all of those things, plus a whole lot more. Because you don't know how to marry all of those things together and make them work for you next week like I do, right? Which is why I have the Short Sale Coaching Club. So let me just take two minutes and I'm going to tell you guys about what I've, what I've done over here at Simple Listing Solutions. And if you'd like to participate with us, fabulous. Uh, if, if, if now is not the time for you, I totally understand. That's okay too. But uh, here's what you could do. If you're interested in what you've seen here today um, you, and you want to do this, you say, hey, I want a stealth website. Right? I want a website like that that I can do anything I want to. Right? I don't know, we're on the wrong page. Not like that one. You know, I want the stealth website where prospects can come get their loan modified and all the, all the different deficiencies, all that stuff, and drip on them, automated drip campaigns in any language. And I want the two books. I, I want to do this, Chris. How do I do it? Well, what you do is you come over to simplelistingsolutions.com, simplelistingsolutions.com, and right, you can just click on this little post-it note. Or down here at the bottom of my website, there's another little post-it note. All right? Click here to sign up and get started now. And this is how simple it is. Let me show you guys something. You click on this little thing, and it says Stealth System, Stealth Site. Go ahead and order it. Select Stealth Site. You click Select, and you'll see that there's a basic and a pro package over here at the Short Sale Coaching Club. The difference between the two is really simple. The basic package, you do not have editing capability of. Right? The pro package, you do. Right? The basic site is fine. People can go there, modify their loan, built-in drip campaigns, all that stuff. You're just not adding pages to it, editing pages, changing things. Right? It's just like a standard website, only people can go there and get their loan modified. You just can't change it. Right? Uh, the drip emails, you can't change those either. The Stealth website has drip email campaigns already written into it, and they automatically start. You don't have to do anything. Just turn it on. But if you wanted, I didn't show you, if you wanted, you could extend those drip email campaigns. You could write 30 more, set the timing, adjust all that stuff with the pro package. With the basic package, you can't. All the drips are built in. They're done. They're ready to go. They'll drip on people. You can't edit them, add your photo, add your logo, change the drips, add more. That's the difference between the two. And look at how affordable I've made this, you guys. 
this is amazing. For the basic package, which is everything, it's all the tools, it's a stealth website, it's everything you need, right? It's 449 bucks, one-time setup fee. One-time setup fee, 449 bucks, or 649 for the pro. And 649 for the pro, um, that's it. It's a one-time setup fee, not for a year. It's a one-time setup fee. You're done. It's yours. It's built. You can edit it. You can change it. You can do whatever you want with it forever, right? So, um, and, and this is the pro package where I've added pages. I added this free attorney CPA review page, and I've done some other things. But um, So that's the difference between the basic and the pro package. Editing capability on the pro, non-editing capability on the basic, but it's a 449 setup fee or a 649 setup fee, and then it's only $39 a month for your hosting, coaching, uh, toll-free phone bill, pays all that stuff, and it's month to month. There's no contract. So let me show you guys something. Back on this Stealth website, there's a toll-free phone number. It's yours. Right? That's your, your own unique toll-free phone number. It connects people right to your cell phone when they call it. Uh, not blindly, you'll answer the phone, it'll be a computer saying, you have a phone call from, and it'll introduce the person's name, and then push pound to accept the call, you'll push pound, and now you've got a person on the phone. That's how easy it works. If they leave a message because you didn't pick up, it emails you the message. If they got scared and didn't leave a message, it emails you their phone number, right, with a time and date stamp. So there's a toll-free 800 number, it's all yours, we record the script, we point it at your cell phone, there's no phone bill because it's part of your monthly service fee. Okay. Another part of your monthly service fee is your monthly training calls. Now, I've got a site here that you're probably, I don't even know if I should show it to you yet. I'll show this to you guys, even though it's not quite, uh, it's not quite there, but it should be up here in another week or two, over here at the Short Sale Coaching Club. All right, this is you. This is what we're talking about right now. You're just not seeing this, the site yet. Over at the Short Sale Coaching Club, when you join and you're using this stealth site and my stealth tools, you're going to learn Facebook, you're going to learn YouTube, you're going to learn Craigslist, you're going to learn geographic farming, you're going to learn how to do those open houses, right? How to, how to really generate listings from your inventory, direct response marketing. Or, these are all things that we cover in training modules and live webinars. And if you don't make the webinar, we record it, right? And then we'll send it to you via email so you won't miss them. You can watch them on your own time. But uh, if you guys are interested in learning how to use YouTube and Craigslist and Facebook and you want to access to these tools, then um, come over to SimpleListingSolutions.com and sign up, right? And I'd love, to, uh, I'd love to help you guys make 2011 finish off the year really strong. Listen, one commission, one closed transaction will pay for this. 15 times. I mean, I don't know your marketplace. I don't know what an average list price is, but I can tell you, in my marketplace, a, a, a cheap listing, right? A, you know, a $300,000 detached house, you know, sold would, would pay this about 20 times, right? One listing, one listing, done. No contract, you guys. It's month to month. So that's what I'm doing over here at the Short Sale Coaching Club, right? I, I give you guys your own stealth website. I teach you how to work it, right? And then not only that, I give you the door hangers, postcards, all that stuff. I teach you how to work them, right? Because you don't know. You might know how to work some of them, but I'll tell you what. When you go over here to, to my home page at simplelistingsolutions.com and you see all these different tools, I can tell you this. You won't use all of them. You'll use two, maybe three, right? There's a lot of stuff on here you won't ever need to print. The business cards, you'll need to print. Cost you about sixty bucks to get a thousand of them, four color, two side, shipped to your desk. Sixty bucks, you got a thousand of them. I'll show you how to use these things to go get listings, right? Through your sphere of influence, through your past clients, through your current clients, how to go get listings with them, right? Yeah, I have agents that go and they stick these things on car doors at the mall, right in the glass on the driver's side. Psh, psh, psh. No more than your home is worth, can't afford to pay. Get the truth, but I mean, there's a million things you can do with business cards, especially when you get a thousand of them for sixty bucks. Right, so you'll definitely have to print the business cards. It's going to cost you sixty bucks. Right. Um, other than that, most of these tools, I'll tell you what you're going to need every time you get a listing. You know, you're going to put the letter on the reverse side of your property flyers to start leveraging that flyer box to get more listings from the neighbors. Right, because the purpose of a listing is to get more listings. But you can print these out on probably your own you Kinkos or print them out on your own printer. Right. A lot of these tools, like the you know the the take one flyers, you can print those out on your own printer. Right. Some of these you have to send. If you're going to get door hangers made, you have to send these out and get them, get them printed up for you. Right. But um, 
all these tools, the way I give you these tools, by the way, when you join the Short Sale Coaching Club, I don't send you a thousand plastic signs and here's your first thousand business cards. I don't do that. Here's the way I do it. Um, you would go over here and you would log in to your back office and I provide all your tools as a PDF file right in your back office. So for instance, Susan, she could come back here and log in and she'd go, she'd click on downloads, right? And then she'd, she's got her books here and then she's got all of her tools. So for instance, she could say download, um, you know, download business card. You guys haven't even seen this one I think yet. Download the business card. And what she has is camera ready artwork, a PDF file that here is going to open up if my computer can, can move along with us here. Let me just refresh my browser. So PDF files, right? Camera ready artwork, ready to go. By the way, there's affiliate printers right here. So you could just go over here and you could say download tear sheet, right? I don't know. I've got a little thing with my, my Mozilla Firefox. It's not opening my Adobe Acrobat today from this program. But that's okay. You guys understand how they are. So the tools exist as, down, as, as PDF files right here in the back office. You just click download business card. And if you were not sitting on my computer right now, your, your business card would download. All right. Download monthly newsletter. I've got a newsletter. If you guys, you, let me show you guys something here. If you are not, um, do I want to show it to you? Yeah, the power of a newsletter. This is a newsletter that we put out for our real estate agents. And look, it actually promote their book in it. Get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. Then the next month's issue has the short sale book, right? So this is a newsletter that we provide our agents. It's called The Welcome Mat, right? It's so cool. Isn't this a great looking newsletter, you guys? Summer stargazing. We've got a ton of cool stuff. Great geographic, great tool for working your 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 uh, sphere of influence, your past clients, existing clients, stuff like that. I teach you how to use these newsletters. Um, but this is a brand new newsletter. We're just adding to the toolkit. So uh, gold seal images. Uh, we've got the high resolution images of the books and the gold seal, which is that gold seal certified short sale advisor. We're going to show you how to put that into your email, so you can make an email signature like mine that gets you listings. Imagine email signature that gets you listings. So look at this signature. Chris Silveda, here's my signature. Certified, you know, short sale for PS. Click here for a free copy of the Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure and learn the number one secret for negotiating with your bank. You know, click here and just go get a free copy of my book. Right? I have the other book here too. Click here for a free copy of either of these books. Right? And link them right over to your stealth website in your email signature. How many emails do you guys send out every day? Right? To your buyers, so you're handing them your card and saying, hey, listen, you guys, I want to show you something. Take a look at my card. Oh, what do you mean? Well, take a look at it. Oh, great. Thanks for asking. What's this? Right? And they see the book on your card. Hey, listen, this doesn't apply to you guys. Right? Your buyers, you guys are working with buyers right now. You say, this doesn't apply to you guys, but I know you know somebody here in San Diego who's upside down in their house. Let me give you a few of my cards and ask you to think about who you might know and give this. Well, what's this, Chris? That's a book that I wrote. It's called The Homeowner's Guide. You wrote a book? Wow, look at this. Now my buyers who are talking about real estate all day long because they're in the market for a house. They're talking to their friends. They're talking to their peers. Oh, hey, our agent wrote a book. Yeah, check it out. I got his card. Your agent wrote a book. Yeah, it's The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure. If you, Oh, wow, I need that. Can I get Right? Recruit your buyers. So, like, here you go. You guys, let me ask you to think about who you know. Don't keep me a secret. Oh, wow. Buyers, they want to feel like, hey, we made a good decision. We hired the right realtor. Our, our guy wrote a book. She wrote a book. Right? She specializes in the short sales and foreclosure properties. Right? We're hoping to go get a good deal on a foreclosure. She's helping us find one right now. But she specializes in like foreclosures and short sales. Yeah, she wrote a book. Right? Oh, how do you, what do you mean? She, here, here's your card. Look, can I have that? Yeah, here you go. Oh, you like her? Yeah, she's great. Oh, okay. Right? So you guys, you start drilling down with your relationships. Hey, who's the next person you know? Don't keep me a secret. Let me give you a few of my cards. I'll teach you guys how to do this stuff for 39 bucks a month. Right? If you want to do this. And if you don't, that, that, I, I totally got it. That's totally okay. Um, any questions about what, what we covered today, you guys? So now's a good time. If you have questions, you can, I'm going to scroll through the question parking lot and I'll answer any questions if you have them. Um, so, yeah, and, and you do. <laughs> so, um, how long does it take? Uh, period. How long does it take? Okay, how long does it take to set this stuff up? It takes 72 hours or less. Uh, from the time you say, hey, Chris, I want to join the Short Sale Coaching Club. I want to start getting more listings. We'll have you sign. We'll have your website turned on, your toolkit built, everything cranking in 72 hours. Um, that's how fast it takes. So from zero to 72 hours, we'll get you over to here, right, with all the tools. And then what would happen next, by the way, is you would come on to what we call the fast start training call. Okay, on a Monday, you'll come on to a fast start training call. You'll learn how to customize, localize your website. You'll learn how to do stuff to it, 
right? And then you'll learn how to get started right away using these tools, uh, you know, to start going out and getting business on your fast start training call. So that'll happen next as soon as we get your site turned on. Um, do we need a domain name? You definitely do need a domain name for the site. We don't provide you a domain name, so you'd have to go over to GoDaddy.com and go pick a domain name. Now, here, this one is ExpertHomeAssist.com. Here, I'll show you another site. This is a, <clears throat> this is one in San Diego. This is at San Diego Cell Short. Dot com. How do you like that for a uh, domain name? San Diego Cell Short. Dot com. Why is it not San Diego? Sell. Oh, okay, San Diego. Did I spell it properly? Yeah, San Diego Sell Short.com. Take a look at this one. Right. So uh, here's here's Tony's website. DeGasparis. We were looking at their stuff earlier, and he's got. Uh, you know, he changed his headline. We help upside down homeowners get right without getting ripped off. Right. He changed his a little bit, and it says, "If you owe more on your San Diego County home or investment property." So, um, you guys at 72 hours, San Diego Sell Short. You could go. You know, if you're in Miami, you could probably go get that right now. You probably won't be able to get MiamiShortSale.com, but I bet you could get MiamiSellShort.com. Right, expert Home Assist, Miami Expert Home Assist, or wherever you guys are at. But go pay 11 bucks or 10 bucks over at GoDaddy. Get the domain name. We'll get your site turned on in, in 72 hours, and we'll help you do it. Now, the thing about the Short Sale Coaching Club is this. It's not sell you a website and a bunch of tools and say good luck. It's you, i got to make this stuff work for you guys. I, I want you to never go anywhere. In fact, I want you to get my expired listing system that I'm going to have about hit the market with in about 90 days. I want you to, and I know you will. If this is working for you, you'd be like, give me that expired listing system, Chris. I'm on it. Good. That's what my plan is. My plan is we'll start a relationship today that'll last for several years, right? So, and it'll only last if, if I perform. <clears throat> And you perform. You have to work. You have to do things. But I'll give you the tools and the training. You can come on to a weekly call with me if you want. Just me, one on one. I'll be on your team. Right? You can email me, call me up, say, Chris, I want to schedule some time with you. How about on Thursday? Could we have an hour? Sure. Let's lock it in. Right? You and I, one on one. We'll talk about your business and, and we'll help you use this stuff. And if six weeks later you say, Chris, I need to talk to you again, we will say, sure you can. Of course you can. Let's get together. I'm on your team. Right? My partner Dave, the IT PhD, is on your team. Right, we'll help you. You want these things on your Facebook? We can help you do that. You want an image of the book on your Facebook so when people click on it? Sure, we can help you do that. You want to learn how to make a Facebook fan page? We'll show you how. You want to build your own YouTube page? I'll show you how. You guys, on YouTube, YouTube, I'm not making this stuff up either. Let's go over to YouTube real quickly. And you want to see my real estate days when I'm doing YouTube, making money on, on YouTube from real estate? Just type my name. I, you type my name on YouTube and see what you guys find. What you're going to find is me, Scripps Ranch Foreclosure, 4S Ranch Foreclosure, Del Mar Bargain, uh, Rancho Santa Fe, Cardiff by the Sea Foreclosure, Encinitas Foreclosure, Foreclosure in Cardiff, Rancho Santa Fe Farms Horse Property, Foreclosure in Carmel Valley, right? San Diego REOs. This is, this is me, right? This is me making money on YouTube in real estate when I was doing real estate about two years ago. Now I just work with real estate agents, right? Uh, go on to YouTube and type how to get short sale listings, how to get short sale listings. What are you going to find if you go do that? Well, you'll find a bunch of stuff, but you're going to find me all over the place too. In fact, you'll find my YouTube page. If you just come down here, get short sale listings, click on the channel, this is going to take you over to my YouTube page. Remember how I said you need to have your own YouTube page tied to your website? It's free. It's easy. It's not hard. It's two hours a week. You guys are making money from YouTube for free if you knew how. I'll show you how when you join the Short Sale Coaching Club. Um, and then that's it. I think that's all I've got for you guys today. And there's no other questions except there was three questions that were the same. I answered those. So I think you guys are good. Thanks for your time today. And don't keep me a secret over here at SimpleListingSolutions.com. Again, if you want your own stealth system that you can convert to any language, your prospects can come over here and get the loan modified, right? Work on a loan mod. Get a copy of your book, The Homeowner's Guide to Ford Fighting Foreclosure, or a copy of your other book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales, eBooks that you can send out to people that they'll forward to others, making it viral, right? An automated viral marketing system with all the tools and training you need to make it work, right? To make it actually work, then um, check us out at SimpleListingSolutions.com, and I look forward to, to joining your team. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little discount here that I gave to the webinar on Tuesday, in case some of you were on Tuesday's webinar. In fact, I know one of you was on Tuesday's webinar, and you still haven't. What's going on? <laughs> Here's the deal. Um, if you want to do this, 
go over to Simple Listing Solutions, and if you do this, if you guys sign up today, if you join today, I'm going to give you a $200 discount. All right, if you guys sign up today, I'm going to upgrade you. You can click on the self site. What I'd ask you to do if you sign up today, select, sign up for the basic package. I'm going to upgrade you to the pro package. Right. Sign up for the basic. I'll upgrade you to the pro package. Um, in fact, today is Thursday. I'm going to give you until tomorrow. You didn't have to do this today. You guys can have it to the end of business tomorrow. I'll tell you why. I had somebody from Tuesday's webinar who called me up and said, please, can you extend it till Friday? And I told him yes. So um, I'll do that for you guys too. Uh, sometime between now and tomorrow at midnight, if you guys sign up, sign up for the basic package. I'll upgrade you to pro automatically, save you 200 bucks. Right? And then you'll be... Um, light years ahead of what any other real estate agent is doing with on the internet. A couple things, well not even a couple things, a bunch of stuff I didn't show you about this website in the back office. I'll show you when you sign up. I've shown you more than $450 worth of value on this thing already. When you sign up and we get you on your fast start training call, you'll see the other $10,000 worth of value in the back office. I'll show you guys how uh, we'll, we're going to talk. <laughs> okay, uh, as search engine optimization is, is something that you need to know about. Okay, you don't need to be an expert, but you do need to have the general idea of how it works. I'll explain it to you. It's not rocket science. Let me show you guys one more thing, and we're going to go on Google.com. Right? I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to say, does Chris know what he's talking about when it comes to search engine optimization? Well, let's see. Short sale marketing systems or tools. We could put in whatever we want, but let's just say short sale marketing systems, and let's do a little search, and we're going to discover that the first three spots that people are paying big bucks to be here, I'm not paying any money to be here. That's them, right? But right down here, what are we on? Spot number, first paid spot, second paid, third spot, Simple Listing Solutions on page one, third spot. Here I am. Okay, if we do short sale marketing tools, I'm in position number one. Short sale marketing systems, I'm in position number three on the first page of Google. Naturally, organically, I'm not paying any money to be here. Right? I, how did I get here? YouTube, for free. It took off about 90 days. YouTube. I'll show you guys how to do that with your sites, too. So, um... I don't see any other questions. Uh, I hope I'm not missing any. I hope I'm not leaving anybody out, but I don't see any in here. So thanks for your time today. Uh, remember, 10 out of 10 short sale salmon, they begin their life as a lone mod minnow. And what are you doing to capture them? Right? And then remember also that if you think about your prospect as a mouse, right? they're programmed to do two things, get the cheese and avoid the cat. Do you have cheese? And do you sound like a cat? Those are a couple questions you probably need to ask yourself when we get off this webinar. And with that, you guys, Thank you very, very much for your time. I hope you got some good value today. Go do good work.